when I was a teenager, my outfit plan was extremely strategic. I would have every outfit for a whole week planned down to the T and best believe there was not one item repeated in that. God forbid anybody sees me in the same pair of jeans two times in a week. Oh, 15 year old self. If only you could see me now. Hey. These days, I repeat the sh sugar out of my outfits. Why? Well, for one, uh, life is just too damn short to try and remember whether or not I wore a crew neck white tee yesterday or a v-neck white tee. Just nobody else gives a flying feather whether or not you have worn the same outfit two days in a row, three days in a row, four days in a row, whatever it is. Why do we want outfit repeat? Well, I think one, is I think a lot of us invest a good amount of money in our pieces and definitely a very efficient approach for, let's say if you are somebody that has a capsule wardrobe or a minimalist wardrobe, or it is fantastic for when you're traveling because it means that you can pack a lot less pieces if you can outfit repeat. So when I say outfit repeat, I don't necessarily mean that you have to wear the exact same outfit every single day. Outfit is used very loosely because the outfit can be referencing a bunch of different things. I'm more speaking to repeating the core outfit every day, meaning the pieces, the certain pieces that you're wearing, whether it's the bottom, you know, a shirt, a sweater, whatever. But that does not mean that you have to style it and accessorize it the exact same way every day. So that is kind of what I'm sharing here today is how I take a core outfit and basically make changes to make it look like a completely different outfit. One other thing that I'd like to mention before we get started is that I have started a weekly newsletter. Yes, it is called Hey Fashion Friends. Yes, very fitting, right? Uh, on this newsletter, you will find extra exclusive content that you will not find on this channel. So make sure to head to the link down below and sign up with your email so that you don't miss out on this extra content. Yes. All right, I'll see you over there. With that, Let's get started. Okay, so here we have it. This is the core outfit that I've chosen for today. Uh, we have my Citizens of Humanity Kayla shirt, my Everlane Pima Cotton turtleneck, and my Citizens of Humanity Ayla jeans. So great jump off point. We've got, you know, casual, sophisticated, we've got sophisticated, and we've got casual. Okay, so now for outfit one, let's just simply add some loafers. And there we go, simple as that. This is outfit one. Add a pair of edgier, sophisticated loafers to tie in with the sophisticated turtleneck, as well as that we're tying in the black. So we've got the black up here and black down there. Nice little sandwich, keeps it nice and balanced. Now let's change out the loafers for a pair of high heel boots. There we go. Right there, we could already just stop and that would be a whole different outfit as well. But we're gonna pump it up a notch. So let's button up the shirt. Now let's give it a tuck. And there we go. Outfit number two, just simple little tweaks and it completely transforms the look. We've changed the silhouette of the outfit by tucking the shirt in, we changed the height of the outfit and we changed kind of the focus of the outfit. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's go back to the loafers, but this time let's cinch up the waist with a belt. Okay, and now let's go full length with the jeans. There we go. So again, we're just changing this sort of silhouette of the outfit. Just to kind of have some impact, let's add a MAC coat as well. All right, there we go. A jacket is something that is not a part of your everyday core outfit. So um, it is a nice way to, again, kind of change, change up the outfit as well with your different jackets. All right, so now let's get rid of the coat. And now let's change the shoes. There we go, got some platform boots that are just gonna kinda elongate the leg a little bit. Let's lose the belt. Okay, shimmy that down a little bit. Untuck the shirt and let's add a denim jacket. These things are <laughs> getting broken, there we go. All right, and that's outfit number four. Yeah, so let's, uh roll up the sleeves just to kind of it 
helps a little bit just with more interest. Again, the look can kind of fall flat when you just leave the sleeves straight. See how that kind of changes it a bit? But there we go. Again, another effortless look with the same core outfit. All right, let's lose the jacket. Let's change the boots. These things are losing my snaps. There we go. Well worth it. Yeah, all right. So this is very impactful uh, boot change. Uh, this is like a, it's like equestrian meets gardener. Yeah. With these boots styled this way, it completely transforms the silhouette of the outfit. So this is a great example of how you can really transform something with footwear. Because we've basically got our core, exact core outfit here styled the same way, but we've transformed it with the boots. Okay, that was outfit number five. Let's move on to outfit number six. Let's change out the shoes. Let's get our cuff back. And let's do a waist tie. I know, haven't seen this in a while, have we? Yeah. That's a little youthful twist to the look. A little zhuzh here, and there we go. Makes this look a lot more casual. This completely changes not only the silhouette of the outfit, but also the style mood of the outfit. Okay, so that was outfit number six. Last but not least, let's move on to outfit seven. Let's put the shirt back. There we go. Now let's change out the shoes. Ah, that's right. I had to do sandals with socks again. You guys just made such a big deal about it. You know, I just, I had to tease you and uh, bring back the socks with sandals. All right, let's add a belt. Here we go. And lastly, let's add a scarf. And there we are. That is outfit number seven. So my friends, we've just dressed ourselves for a week with one core outfit. Not too shabby. You could go on and on with different ways of styling the t-shirt to make this, to add on a whole nother 10 outfits. Um, so it just shows the impact you can have with just little tiny tweaks. Should we do a bonus outfit? I think we should. Let's uh, get rid of the scarf. Let's button up the shirt. Let's add a belt and let's bring in a blazer. All right, let's give it a little There we go, one more. There we go, makes it not quite as heavy. All right, let's change out the shoes. And there we go, my friends, <laughs> completely different look. Wouldn't even know that this is the same outfit, would you? So there you have it, eight outfits out of one core outfit. And best believe we could go on and on and on with so many more different styling tweaks to probably get, I would say, at least 20, if not more, outfits out of this one core look. Depending on how far you wanna go with shoes, accessories, style tweaks, top layers, that sort of thing, you could probably get away with wearing the same outfit for a month. I know. All right, my beautiful fashion friends, before we go, make sure that if you are not signed up to my newsletter yet, to head down to the link down below and sign up with your email so that you do not miss out on a weekly newsletter. No, we do not wanna miss out on our Hey Fashion Friends newsletter where you will get exclusive extra content that you will not be getting on this channel. So, don't wanna miss out. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. You know what to do if you did. Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe for future weekly episodes. And make sure to click that little bell to get notified when I post my new episodes. Okay, you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love, and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye!